Today I am going to go ahead and show you how to make a Jamaican style stew oxtail. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a Jamaican style stew oxtail. Now what I have into my bowl over here, I have about 6 pounds of oxtail that I went ahead and I washed. And what I washed my oxtail with, I washed it with some lemon, lime, salt and vinegar. And I washed it about 3 or 4 times. I take the lemon and I scrub the meat with the lemon and then I added my my um, vinegar and my salt and I let it soak for about 10 minutes then I went ahead and I rinse it about three or four times so into my bowl there I have my oxtail and what I have into my dish over here that I needed to marinate my oxtail I have some tomatoes garlic onion green chili pepper scallion, scotch bonnet, and um, some parsley, and some fine leaf thyme and broad leaf thyme that I have into my bowl here. So I am going to go ahead and show you step by step how to marinate your oxtail because I'm going to be marinating my oxtail in my refrigerator overnight. So what I have here, I have a very large bowl and I am going to add my oxtail into my bowl here. And these are all washed up nice and clean. You always wanted to make sure that you wash this a couple of times, about three or four times. So I have it all nicely washed up here. And you added a little salt when you're washing this. When you're washing your meat, add a little salt and some vinegar with lemon or lime. That will cut down all the fat that the oxtail have. So into my bowl there, I am going to add some black pepper. I am going to go ahead and add it some smoked paprika. Not a lot, just a little. Some chili flakes, if you don't like spicy, you could remove the chili flakes. And some five star powder. Okay, so I'm going to be adding just a little bit of five star, not a lot. That's enough. And some chicken bouillon or beef bouillon, whichever you have on hand. Also, into my bowl over here, I have some green seasoning, and basically what's in my green seasoning is basil, thyme, scallion, onion, garlic, celery, chili pepper, and a little piece of ginger that I went ahead and I blended up here. So I am going to be adding about a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon and a half of that to my meat. And that mixture is going to flavor my meat completely. Also, I'm going to be adding a little bit of soy sauce, not a lot, just a little. And some Jamaican browning sauce. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of this. If I could get the bottle open here. Okay, so I'm going to be adding some Jamaican brown sauce here about a teaspoon then I will go ahead and add all of my seasoning and I will give this a nice mix here make sure all of that actually I'm going to use my hands which works Better because I wanted to make sure that all this mixture is mixed in nicely here into my into my oxtail. And this is gonna have to marinate overnight or at least for a couple of hours into your refrigerator. Want to make sure you get that seasoning all over.
Okay, so this is your first step of making the oxtail. So I went ahead and I marinated my oxtail there. It's nice and marinated there. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to cover this and I am going to place this into my refrigerator for overnight. If you don't have time, you can do it at least marinate it. Try to marinate it for at least an hour. So I'm going to place this in the refrigerator overnight. And then I will come back and show you the second part, how to start making the oxtail. So I'm going to let this marinate overnight into my refrigerator. Okay guys, so yesterday I went ahead and I show you how to marinate your oxtail to make the oxtail stew and now I am going to show you how to cook it so my oxtail been marinated overnight into my refrigerator for about overnight for 24 hours into my refrigerator there and that's how delicious my oxtail look so this is nicely marinated so now I will go ahead and show you how to make the oxtail stew. So into my pan over here, let me bring it closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, into my pan over here, I have one tablespoon of oil that is heating up nicely there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of brown sugar into my pan there. Not a lot of brown sugar guys, just about a tablespoon and a half and I am going to let that caramelize and you have to be very very careful when you're making this burn sugar here this is um, excellent for the stew you got to be very careful you don't want to leave when you're making this because you don't want to burn it you just want to caramelize the sugar So all you need is a little bit of oil and you're going to let that sugar caramelize. You're going to know when it's caramelizing. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So right now my brown sugar is into my pan there. And I'm waiting for it to caramelize nice and golden brown. All that sugar melted. And you don't want to walk away from your stove when you're doing this. If you get it burned, throw it out and do it over because it's just going to make your stew bitter. And don't worry guys, this is not going to make the stew sweet. This is just to get a little color for your stew. It's going to be nice and delicious. I'm going to let it continue to caramelize there. And my oxtail is going to be cooking for about three and a half hours. Oxtail take a long time to cook. And my brown sugar is all caramelizing up there nicely. It's all browning up here nicely. That's what you wanted to see. Still have a little bit more to go. a little bit more here. This is looking all so good already. My pan is nice and hot here. Look at this guys. Look how delicious that is looking there. My brown sugar. Look at that. That is browning up so nicely there. Look at that. That's what you wanted to see. Nice and brown. Okay, so now that my sugar is nice and golden brown there, it's not burned, let's go ahead and add our
all of it because I want it to bring up nicely on each side. And don't throw this marinade out guys. We're going to need this for the sauce. So don't throw that out. Right now my meat is bringing up nicely here. I want it to get nice and brown on each side. Oh, this is looking so good already. Look at this already, guys. Look at that. Look how nice and brown that is cooking up here. That's what you wanted to see. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to let this continue to brown on each side. And then we'll proceed with the next part. So let that continue to brown. Okay, so my meat is cooking up nicely here, browning up nicely here. Let me bring my camera in so I can show you what this looks like. Look at all that goodness there. So that's been browning now on all sides. And that's what you have there. So what we're going to do now, we are going to go ahead and add all of this goodness back into the pot. Just like that. All of it. This is all the goodness here that has been marinated in. And we are going to give this a nice toss here. Let this cook for about a couple of minutes with all that goodness there. My goodness, this is looking so good already. Look at that. And remember, this oxtail is going to have to cook for a couple of hours. So I'm going to be cooking this for about three, three and a half hours to four hours until it's nice and falling off the bowl. Right now I'm letting this cook up nicely there with all that seasoning and all that good stuff there. I'm going to let this fry up here for about five to six minutes before I add any liquid. Okay, let's go ahead and check on the oxtail now. This is cooking up so nicely here. I added some thyme. A nice thyme I added here. Okay, look at this. How nicely that is cooking up there. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and add the water. Okay, so I'm going to add the hot water. And I'm adding about four cups of water. If I need it more later, I am going to go ahead and add more. Right now I'm only adding four cups of water. And I will put this to a boil and let this cook for about three and a half. To four hours. If you want, you could go ahead and place this into your oven and let it cook for about four hours, straight half to four hours at 350 degrees. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cook it on the stove. So what I'll do right now, I will cover my pot Let me fix this. I will cover my pot and I will let this cook and I will let this boil now for about three and a half to four hours. I will check it every every 15 to 20 minutes and I will let it continue to boil on medium high heat and then I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so my oxtail been boiling now for about three hours. Let's um, go ahead and check on it. This is boiled all the way down to the bottom here. It looks so good. Look at that, guys. Look at that. 
I'm going to bring my camera in so you can see what it looks like. Look at that deliciousness here. I still have a little bit more to go. But these are going to be fall off the bone oxtail. Look at that. Look. So I'm going to let it continue to boil for another 20 minutes until most of that liquid it is evaporated and then I will plate it and let you see what it looks like. All that goodness there. So I'm going to cover my pot and I'm going to let that continue to cook until all that liquid is evaporated and then I will plate it and let you see what it looks like. Okay, so the oxtail has been cooking now for about three and a half hours. Let's go ahead and check on that. And this is completely finished here. I'm going to let it go maybe for another five minutes until some of the liquid all evaporated a little. I will plate it and show you what it looks like. So I will go ahead now, plate it, and let you see what it looks like. And there you have it. A nice, delicious stew oxtail. There you have it, guys. A nice, delicious stew oxtail. Step by step, I show you. After three and a half hours, this is what it looks like. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera. So you can see what that looks like. Look at that deliciousness there. Look at that guys. Look at all this deliciousness. After three and a half hours, that's what you get. Nice fall off the bone oxtail. If you like this video guys, kindly give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my video. Today I bring you a delicious, delicious stew oxtail Jamaican style. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.